All right, so we got System Shock official announcement trailer. Let's get into the video. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Remember, gentlemen, what I say stays here. Oh, wow. Okay. You cooperate, and I'll give you the implant you tried to steal. Downloading. Oh my god, look at his body. One of the best games of 2023. Okay. Welcome to my death machine. It's gonna be out on all consoles, PlayStation and Xbox system suck. All right, listen, here's what I gotta say. Um, now they said one of the best games of 2023. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, you know, listen, Prime Matters, shout out to you guys. Um, I'm gonna be honest, 2020, 2023 was one of the best years of gaming ever. Uh, you know why? Because every two weeks of that year, banger games came out. Go back, go back. And look up all the games, all the major games. Shout to you know all you know all the games that that were uh, that performed uh, that that was good. I'm talking about go back last year and 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 look at all the main title games. There was at least two main title games, uh, bro, a month that bro. So many games dropped that year. It was absolutely ridiculous. 2023 has to be one of the biggest gaming years ever ever bro like we had games like you know like th there'll be like two games that would never like drop in the same year brother those two games dropped in the same year i wish i could give you an example so like for instance uh i may be wrong about this but i don't i don't ever remember a star wars game like a star wars um like uh like you know fallen order or a star wars jedi survivor dropping in the same year as uh as a zelda game am i right about that I think I'm right about that. I, I, I don't ever remember those two games dropping in the same year. Or I don't ever remember a Zelda game and a Spider-Man game dropping in the same year. But guess what? It happened and it did. Like, 2023 was crazy. Like, the competition was absolutely insane. Like, that year, last year was, bro, that did wonders for my channel. Let me just say that, all right? But other than that, we're back talking about System Shock. I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't have a problem with System Shock. I, I think I've reacted to one trailer about System Shock last year. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I like the variety of weapons in this game. Also, I'm not really, um, like, usually I'm not really a big fan of the whole, like, you know, um, okay, uh, I'm going to shoot down robots, da 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 Like, I mean, I am a fan of it, but I'm not really a big, like, you know, like, um, like, like diehard fan of it. Like, it's not a problem for me, but at the same time, if I had the option, I wouldn't really pick that because that's, like, really, like, an overused thing. It's kind of like zombies for, like, a lot of these games, um, you know, I but here's the thing i'm not a nerd about it though like if it comes with a game it comes with a game i'm not gonna sit here and you know and 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 be a uh, and be a code red school threat you know and be like oh well you guys you're, i guess your game is about shooting zombies like every other game that like no i'm not gonna complain about it but like you know it, you know it is what it is but um talking about that for this game how it's like like shooting robots and you know big robot monsters and you know they're create they're combining robots and zombies together and mash them together and making all types of entities and stuff like that. I mean, to be honest with you, that seems actually kind of fun. And the uh, like I said, and like the selection of weapons look pretty fun too. I can't lie. And also from like from System Shock, I get like a um, I, bro, I don't know why, but like I get like a feeling that like. This game is like a mix between like three games that I've like played before. I don't know what games they are, but like I don't know. Like it, it's just like it's weird. I wish I could like say what games that I'm talking about, but it, this game is like a mix of like three to five games that I've played before or that we've played before. But um, other than that, graphically it looks really nice. Um, I actually thought this game was actually gonna come out last year, but it turns out I guess it didn't. It's coming out. Uh, well no, I think it did drop last year. But it's releasing on all consoles. Or it's going to release on PlayStation and Xbox. So 
I mean, you know, we'll, we'll see how they do on May 21st. And um, I don't know, bro. I'm just excited for, you know, the rest of the year for games. I don't know why, right? I, I Listen, we all know at the beginning of the year and, like, towards, like, the middle of the year, um, like, a, games drop. But, like, you know, we don't really have, like, big, big, big major releases to, like, you know, later in the year. Um, but, listen, this summer, bro, we got that new Elden Ring dropping. Um, when is Death Stranding 2? When is that dropping? I think that's dropping later in the year, huh? I think Death Stranding, Death Stranding is dropping later in the year. But um, we have, bro, that Elden Ring is going to take over the summer, bro. That Elden Ring is going to take over the summer, and I cannot wait. Other than that, um, hopefully you guys enjoy my reaction to the System Shock trailer. Um, you know, hopefully the game actually does well for both consoles. Um, and yeah, see you guys on the next one. I'm out, and...